following are a series of video clips showing fall restricting testing of the Bashland 77 BCS pole lariat. All testing was completed with the 300-pound rigid weight. The weight was suspended 12 inches away from the pole to approximate alignment's position. A quick-release device was used to replicate the lineman cutting out of a pole. A lineman's tool belt is positioned around the weight. The belt is secured to the pole area using D-loops. This testing was completed on a dry pole that was pretty chewed up. The pole measured 32 inches around the point of release. The condition of the pole, including moisture and ice, will affect the performance of the pole area. This test is not to any specific standard either currently in effect or proposed. Rather, it is meant to illustrate certain capabilities of the pole lariat for the lineman using the device. Test number one. The pole lariat is positioned 12 inches above the attachment point of the tool belt with the parking tab moved back against the adjuster. This would be similar to leaning back into the device. The pole lariat will be stationary when it is released. Note, the pole lariat did not move. Fall restriction was immediate. Test number two. The pole lariat is positioned 18 inches below the attachment point with the parking tab tight against the snap hook. The pole lariat did not move before restricting the fall of the weight. This was nearly a three foot free fall, more than the lariat will see when used correctly. Note the fall sheared the protective jacket of the rope, exposing but not damaging the core, which is the primary strength member of the pole lariat. This is a positive indicator that the pole lariat has been shock loaded. Test number three. The pole lariat is positioned 12 inches above the waist. The device is adjusted per instructions with the parking tab located halfway between the adjuster and the snap hook. The pole lariat will be moved down the pole before the weight is released, simulating a lineman climbing down the pole. The pole lariat moved approximately 18 inches before it tightened and restricted the fall of the weight. Test number four. The pole lariat is positioned 12 inches above the waist. The lariat is adjusted with the parking tab against the adjuster. This is an improper adjustment. It will increase the free fall distance. The pole lariat will be moved down the pole before the weight is released, simulating a lineman coming down the pole. The pole lariat moved approximately 40 inches before it tightened and restricted the fall of the weight. When using the pole lariat, keep the device waist high or above when climbing or descending. Proper adjustment is imperative for performance. Or more to the point, if the pole lariat is too loose, it may not restrict your fall. The friction adjuster must be no more than six inches from the pole and the parking tab halfway between the pole and the adjuster. You may have to shorten your steps a little when you climb. Be conscious of the taper of the pole, adjusting the pole lariat as you go up. On smaller poles, care must be taken to maintain the proper adjustment. Keep the pole lariat as tight as possible. Use the parking tab to keep the pole lariat tight when resting below the waist, always keeping the pole rope as short as possible to reduce the potential free fall. Practice with the fall restricting device of your choice and integrate it with your normal work procedures until using it becomes second nature. Continue to develop your climbing skills. These devices will not help you if you leave them hanging in the bin of the truck. But don't put all of your trust in this or any other device designed to restrict falls. Learn to climb so you can trust your hands and your feet. This will make you more confident and productive. Gravity is terribly unforgiving. Accidents can happen to anyone. Identify the potential hazards and use all of your equipment properly. Your family is waiting for you.